Hello everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude. I am here with my guest star, Saron Reyes J. Hello. And he is joining me to review this Futurama episode called The Inhuman Torch. That's the name of the episode. And this episode is about when Bender, he becomes a firefighter. And the second half of the episode, he meets this little talking blue fire. That's really all I'm going to give you guys. My thoughts on the episode... I think it's really good. It's a really enjoyable episode. It does have its flaws, but overall, I do really like it. I think it's funny because well, sometimes he's trying to pull, like, take out the fire. Yeah, and, and he and and he wants to have his hero title. Yeah, <laughs> and it's funny the one of the ways that it's on him. He takes it out with alcohol. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and his whole body gets on fire. Yeah, it's you got you got love Bender, right? Yes. And then the first half is just the the Plan Express. They turn into this firefighting express, basically. Yes. And so along the way, we do get some humor. I'll be honest, though, one of the flaws I did have with the episode is that the first half did get a little boring for me. Like the episode was still good. Like don't get me wrong, I I had fun with the episode. It's just that I felt like it was getting boring after a while with the whole bender trying to put out the fire. It got a little bit repetitive in my opinion. Once the second half of the episode comes because that little blue talking fire comes in the second half of the episode. And then once that came the episode did improve a little bit as it went on. And we have Bender stuck in Antarctica. Was he in yeah, Antarctica? Yeah, it's about in yeah. yeah. What's funny is it's kind of weird that he's like there in the middle of nowhere and and that little iceberg. Yeah. And he's all lonely. He just really realizes that he's all lonely there. And then no one believes Bender because they think he's the reason for all the fires and all that, yeah. especially his own best friend Fry. Yeah. And that's another problem I have with the episode. I didn't really like Fry here. I didn't like how he treated a uh, Bender and Fry. He did get on my nerves a little in this episode. And I normally enjoy the dude, but this is just one of those rare times where he did honestly just got on my nerves a little bit. It's really good. I like the way they improve the animation on it. Yeah. I like the way like more and more it's like like funnier and funnier. It's good and funny. Yeah. It's just sometimes it's like uh, you want to change something else. That's why. Really? You felt like that when you watched the episode? Yeah. Huh. Oh, okay. So I was like going back and forth, back and forth. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, eh. All right. There are yeah. some very hilarious moments, like definitely that scene when Zoidberg is uh, going down the pole and he's acting mm -hmm. like some kind of stripper. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. And then, uh, of course, Bender trying to put up the fire is funny, too. It does get a little repetitive and boring after a while, but, you know, it was still entertaining. And then we have the finale, too, and while I wasn't in love with the finale, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. It's just the ending, just how the episode ended overall. Yeah. I was just all like, eh. Yeah. Overall, I think the Inhuman Torch, I think it's really good. It's really enjoyable. It does get a little bit boring in the first half and a little bit repetitive. Fry did get on my nerves a little. But overall, I think it's an enjoyable and satisfying episode. I'm going to give the Inhuman Torch an 8 out of 10. I give it the same. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? Yeah. Thanks for guest starring Toronto J. You're welcome. Subscribe, like, and share. Follow me on Facebook, on Twitter. Comment your opinion on this Futurama episode. And don't forget that I will always have Taga Power!